Hey, it's Matt, your Average Gamer, and for this one, we're going to be covering the Great Club, which actually got a boost in the recent patch. It was given holy damage and holy scaling, so we're going to talk about all that and how good it is in Elden Ring. First, where do you get the Great Club? You get the Great Club in Old Atlas Tunnel. I'm going to show it at the end on the map where it is. It's just a stone troll, though. He's not a particularly tough boss fight. He's actually not even immune to bleed, despite the fact that he seems to be quite made of stone or something. I don't know, but either way, he still does take bleed damage, so you don't have to worry about that if your build currently is bleed and you want to try something out. You can absolutely shred him. I used the Reduvia to get the blood procs on him. I think I got two of them. And it did a substantial amount of damage that he was able to take from that. And this is something, again, that's not too, too tough to fight. And I'm going to show on the map where it is here as we see the Great Club drop. By the way, this was dropped after the patch, after the morning of the patch. I'm assuming it's in the same spot. And we're able to get the Great Club here from the troll right there in Old Atlas Tunnel in the Atlas Plateau. So oh, I was going to test this on some dragons in Kaled, and I realized something. You can still put Blood Flame on this, which gives you something very interesting. It's able to get holy damage, very good amount of physical damage, and you're able to get fire damage, as well as a little bit of bleed when you use Blood Flame Blade. And it does a lot of damage in general, and it's also decent for posture damage. They did nerf, obviously, in the last patch previously, I think in 1.08, as far as the Colossal Swords, Colossal Weapons, and then the posture damage. But it doesn't really matter here. We're still able to build up a little bit of posture damage, do really good damage with the jump attacks in general, and then the charged attacks as well. This is a weapon that hits extremely hard, given that it's Colossal, and it definitely shows the amount of damage that it can do. Again, we're on New Game Plus 7 here, and the damage is substantial. Before we go on, though, I want to mention one thing real quick, or actually two things, rather. There's an awesome Discord with over 300 people that's really active that you need to join if you're into Elden Ring, because there's just a ton of people talking all the time on there. It's a very, very active, fun community to be a part of, so be sure to join that. It's in the description below. And also, if you're not sub, be sure to sub if you love overpowered or fun PvE builds in Elden Ring. We're going to continue to do them. That's mainly what I do after all. All right, let's get back to the Great Club. And how good this is for a essentially big bonk weapon. This is quite good. This is going to be something that with the holy damage and the fact that the face scaling now works with the Golden Land part of the Ash of War, I believe, as well. We're able to get substantial damage out of the weapon in general since the base damage, the physical damage. We went for 60 strength. We went for 40 faith. And the Ash of War isn't personally one of my favorite, but since they didn't fix it, I believe you can still proc bleed with Golden Land using Blood Flame Blade as well, so it is useful in certain situations. The selling point, though, here is mainly the fact that we're using such a heavy, awesome weapon that they buffed and added damage to, and obviously the Faith Scaling and the Holy Damage. If you're fighting those pesky tree avatars, don't forget you can add fire damage to this too with Blood Flame Blade. And though it was a little bit of a long fight, he is a little bit healthier though in the sense, healthier, has more HP in the sense that we're on New Game Plus 7. But yeah, it, it, is, it is pretty good as far as the damage goes either way. And again, you're going to get decent, not amazing, not pre 1.08 patch posture damage, but you will build up posture damage with the charge and the jump attacks, as you saw me posture break the dragons, and then you're able to do substantial damage to most enemies using the charge tier and the axe talisman as well. For a great combination that really just covers the R2s in general, as well as the jumping R2s to get the most damage we can out of it, and then we're using stuff like Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength. I'll go over the buffing later when we go over the entire build to get even more damage out of this weapon, which already, again, has really good AR with the fact that it's a colossal weapon that now does physical damage as well as holy damage. Another thing to note is the Blood Flame Blade boost to it. The fact that it can be used with greases with Blood Flame Blade and obviously with Black Flame Blade as well. I didn't use that in this video, but it's a really cool added benefit to this weapon. The fact that you can apply different greases and Blood Flame and Black Flame Blade as well. As I was using this weapon, by the way, it actually became one of my favorite Colossal weapons to use. It was just a lot of fun in general. Maybe I haven't done a lot of Colossal weapons lately, and obviously the Guts Greatsword is a little bit, you know, it's really popular, so it's something that we see all the time. The Great Club I haven't really seen as much of, so it was really fun to just run around with this thing and basically learn its moveset. Basically try to hit things as hard as possible. By the way, I do get beat up in a corner here with one of these guys. It just didn't turn out well for me. Yeah, sometimes I, it definitely shows that I'm just decent at games that I play. I just mainly play games for fun after all in the end. And yeah, so I do get beat up a little bit here, but we are able to get really good damage on the Tree Sentinel guys. I did a lot of field bosses, mainly field bosses for this one because that's what was available on my character, but it was a lot of fun running through these.
Interestingly though, I do end up surviving it, but yeah, sorry for the camera angle here a little bit. I did get backed into a corner and then the tree sentinel I think ends up getting kind of confused as far as his AI, which was a little bit of a benefit for me, I guess. But yeah, we're able to do substantial damage to him. This should have posture broke him too at some point, though I think I did get a posture break on the second one. The first one though, not so much. They do have weird posture breaks though, it's not your typical poise break, but it does give you a chance to get an extra hit in with added damage. And down goes the first one. I did get backed into a corner, but it wasn't too difficult because the great club hits very hard. By the way, the holy damage isn't a ridiculous amount either, so you don't have to go too crazy in the faith investment if you're not going to use golden land, so keep that in mind. As far as the holy damage scaling goes, I think at 40 faith I was able to get maybe 100 and something extra holy damage. It's still nice to have that as a benefit, but if you're not going to use the Ash of War much, you can probably still invest heavily in the strength stat. And shortly, we're going to show off mobs, and then we're going to go over build stats, equipment, everything you'll need to know like I do in every single video so we can go over everything to get the best damage you possibly can around 150 out of the Great Club. And the Tree Sentinel will go down in short order here, but I did want to mention as far as the Great Club goes, it's definitely a really fun weapon to use. If you're going to ask me how good it is, it's actually quite good now, given the fact that it now has the holy damage it probably should have had the entire time. It's actually quite good now. This was a weapon that I really enjoyed. Let's get into fighting some mobs to show it off real quick at Gatefront, and then we'll get into stats, equipment, build, everything you'll need to know. Like I said, for mob control, this is a really good weapon. This is one of those weapons that hits really hard. You can also use the Ash of War if you like as well, but for me, I prefer running around and doing the jump attacks because Pretty much everything we hit, or the majority of mobs, aside from certain ones that are a little bit tougher, are going to be one jumping R2. And you can use Blood Flame Blade too, obviously, or you can just run around and just bonk things with this weapon. It's one of those weapons where if you just run around and hit stuff with this, especially on the charged attacks and the jumping R2s, it's a lot of fun to use because basically it's just a big bonk stick and it really does do quite good damage, obviously, from the physical portion. Now we got that added holy damage too. Mobs don't really stand a chance against the Great Club. All right, now that we beat up enough on these guys and we're able to show this off on mobs, off on bosses in general in New Game Plus 7, we're going to be getting into the entire build and stats. Let's get into equipment here and go over everything. For equipment, we have the Great Club plus 24, preferably plus 25. Any seal will do. The Raptor's Black Feathers for the jump attack boost. We have the Jaron Dragon Crest, Axe Talisman. We have the Claw Talisman, Ritual Swords Talisman, and then we're using the Charge tier. You can throw in the Stance Breaking tier too. That's a good add for this build because we're able to get some good stance damage on jumping R2s. If you throw in that as well, it's something that can add on to that Stance Breaking Poise damage, especially since Poise damage is a little harder to come by now. Let's go over stats. If you're using the Ash of War, this is now a Faith and Strength weapon. So I went for 60 Strength and 40 Faith to give it the best chance it could for the Faith scaling. But if you're not really using the Ash of War, the Faith scaling is very much secondary since it's a D in scaling, so you can definitely go high strength, go for the physical damage, and then worry about Faith as a secondary. But for me, I really like 60-40 and I got a lot of damage out of it. Let's go over buffs. Now for buffs, it's going to be pretty simple. The main thing here is if you're using the Poise Breaking tier, you're going to drink that last, but if not, you can drink your tier first because it's typically the longest. Then we're going to use Golden Vow. Blessings Boon's optional, but it does give you a little bit of extra HP. Flame Grant Me Strength, don't mind me hitting the wrong button there. And then filling up your FP. Then Blood Flame Blade, then we can go in for those jumping R2s. You can even use the Ash of War Golden Land. It's a lot of fun to use as well. As far as the Great Club goes, it's definitely one of my favorite Colossal Weapons now. It's really cool that it has Faith Scaling and they added the Holy Damage, which should have been added, I think, at the start of the game or shortly after. But even so, we're able to finally get that now. The weapon was supposed to be like this, and it's a very good weapon after they added the Faith Scaling. If you're not on the Discord, definitely be sure to join that community. That community is basically almost like a dream come true. I wanted to build an awesome Elden Ring community, and it's really starting to grow now. If you're not subbed and you love overpowered PvE builds, be sure to check out all the awesome builds on my channel thanks for watching and as always i will catch you guys there